Sheriff Harry Lee is livid about a New Orleans minister's criticism of his deputies. The minister says they used excessive force when the deputies opened fire on a suspected car thief Monday morning. Lee says the minister needs to mind his own business. Laura Shelton reports. Sheriff Harry Lee gave us new details on the investigation into the shooting, and he gave us an earful about New Orleans Minister Tom Watson. All we tried to do was stop him, and if it took 100 and whatever bullets were fired to stop him, that's what it took. And if they had to reload, that, that's what they come here to train to do. Sheriff Harry Lee passionately defended his deputy's use of deadly force in the death of 16-year-old Antoine Colbert, the teen behind the wheel of this stolen truck. Deputies say Colbert tried to run them over. And everybody's saying, we the bad guys? And he, he hit a deputy with the car. And are you any less dead if you get hit with a Ram Dodge truck or with a 9mm bullet? you just as dead. There were two other teens in the truck, and according to Sheriff Lee, both say the barrage of bullets stopped as soon as the truck stopped. The other kids in the car were pleading with him to stop. And his answer then was, I'm not going back to jail. So if he had a death wish, that's okay with me. What's okay with Lee? Three juveniles. Isn't okay with Reverend Tom Watson of the Greater New Orleans Coalition of Ministers. From what I'm understanding, these three young people going down Jefferson Highway, the Jefferson police decide that they're going to have target practice on these kids. For a minister to face in that we use those kids for target practice, I cannot tell you how, how, how angry that makes me. Reverend Watson is calling for the Justice Department to investigate. That just gave Sheriff Lee more ammunition. According to Reverend Watson, all they were doing, they can't afford a car, go steal a car. It's okay with me. Well, it may be okay with him, but damn it, it ain't okay with me. You come to Jefferson Parish to steal a car, you get your in trouble. Sheriff Harry Lee says he's not ready to release the number of deputies involved in the shooting or to verify how many shots were fired, though. He says it was more than 109 rounds and some of the deputies had to stop shooting to reload. He says it's his policy to keep those deputies patrolling the streets throughout this investigation. Telling us to put them on desk duty would mean he doubted their actions. Back to you. Dead if you get hit with a Ram Dodge truck or with a 9mm bullet, you just as dead. Sheriff Lee at a uh, firing range dedication uh, today Sheriff questioned why these ministers Lionel. become outraged when it's African Americans in front of a gun barrel, not Indian behind it. How about this young Vietnamese girl who was pursuing the American dream by working and a black guy comes in and shoots up? Three black kids shot a white boy going to his car. Did that upset the ministers? And I said, what, what were those kids doing? Were they target practice or were they playing tiddlywink? And I don't care whether you're 16 or 60 or you're black or you're white. You try to kill one of my deputies, you're going to end up getting hurt. Sheriff Lee, still upset by comments from Reverend Tom Watson of New Orleans, took his anger public during a dedication ceremony today. And I don't give a damn what the ministers of New Orleans say. We're going to do whatever we have to do. Watching the sheriff on TV from his church, Reverend Watson turned up the heat. Uh, first of all, his anger is um, unfortunate because we have a young African-American male that's dead. He was um, murdered. I want to go on record to say that it's a modern-day lynching. Sheriff Lee maintains the shooting that resulted from this high-speed chase involving three New Orleans teenagers in a stolen truck ending in the death of the driver was justified. And all we tried to do was stop him. And if it took 100 and whatever bullets were fired to stop him, that's what it took. And if they had to reload, that, that's what they come in and train to do. Uh, for you to justify your deputies doing what they did and, and go to the extreme to say, if it takes 300 rounds to stop three children in a car, something is sick about that. The sheriff is still angry that Reverend Watson accused the sheriff's office of using the teenagers for target practice and appeared to suggest that they stole the truck because they wanted a piece of the American dream. They were pursuing the American dream, which evidently, according to Reverend Watson, all they were doing, they can't afford a car, go steal a car. It's okay with me. Well, it may be okay with him, but goddamn it, it ain't okay with me. All I was trying to say was, these young people are no different from the average young person who sees something on television, sees it on the internet, and they want it. Before Reverend Watson gets involved in my business, he better stay in New Orleans and take care of the problem there. Harry Lee is out 
of control. Bless him, he needs prayers. Sheriff Lee says the teenagers who tried to run down his deputies were out of control. He maintains the shooting was justified. Meanwhile, the investigation continues. And